hello and welcome everyone to my channel this is the first of many videos i will create on data analysis using different tools which will include python excel vba power query etc excel wings basically provides a way to interact with excel through python a lot of a lot of times you will be creating analysis files using pandas but pandas does not provide the option to format the excel files you can use open by excel for formatting excel files but what i have noted in my practical use of open by excel is that it's very slow this is where excel wings comes in and saves the day we are now able to run macros in personal macro workbook directly from within python which will significantly faster than formatting with open by excel uh, the connected libraries we have I mentioned here are pandas, open by Excel, and Excel SX Writer. First step we will do is we will open up Jupyter. Uh, we'll do a separate video on how to set up Jupyter on a separate video. So, first thing we will do is load Excel Wings, import Excel Wings at XW. Just make sure that it's installed. If you if it's not installed you can just go to command prompt and you can do pip you can do pip install xl wings and it should install the library since i already have it installed i will not install it again all right so we can load in an excel file for test basis if the file is in same directory as the code we can just put in the file name or if it's a different directory then we will have to give it the full path so if you are on a windows you will have to use r to escape the escape the slash character so here we are using a variable wb equals xw dot book and giving it the path for the excel file to load in if you want to create a new excel file you can just you leave these parentheses blank and it will create a new excel file then what you will do is you will create an app instance so this is an image from excel wings documentation which says returns an app object that represents the creator of the book so what we'll do is we'll do app equals wb.app and then we will assign a variable as macro underscore vba you can name it anything you want then you will say app dot macro you will give it personal workbook name this is personal dot xlsb this will stay the same in your case as well then there is a exclamation mark you will leave it here and then this is the macro name so if i show you where this macro is so it's available here in my personal macro workbook fix underscore msft so let's get into it let's load in the excel workbook all right this code is not run before so i'm gonna run it again all right so this opens up the excel workbook for msft all right So if you run this one, this will pull in the macro from this personal macro workbook and run the macro. As you can see here, it ran the macro and then we can save this as, we can override this file or we can save it as a new file. Let me expand it here. So if you wanted to save it as the same file, you can use the same file name. So you by location as you wrote above or if you want to create a new file you can just give it a new name and a new extension as well so if you, you would have noticed that we loaded a csv file but then we saved it as an xlsx file and we named it as msft underscore macro underscore fixed so let's run this and see if it saves the file all right so as we can see here save the file it's msft macro fix and we can see the extension of it it's also xlsx so that's it for this video